ओम शांति 26 जुलाई 2018 थर्सडे टुडेज ब्लेसिंग इज मे यू बी फिल्ड विद इन्फिनिट ट्रेजर्स एंड एक्सपीरियंसिंग स्टेबल एंड कॉन्स्टेंट हैपीनेस क्लेम नंबर वन इन ऑर्डर टू क्लेम नंबर वन continue to experience stable and constant happiness do not get tra- caught up in any type of jhamela confusion by going into any jhamela your swing of happiness jhula becomes slack and you would not be able to swing high therefore constantly continue to swing in the swing of constant and stable happiness all the children receive from bab dada imperishable infinite and unlimited treasures so constantly remain stable and filled with attainments of those treasures the speciality of the confluence age is experience and so take benefit of the speciality of this age so in order to claim number 1 baba is telling to experience constant and stable happiness and don't get caught in any sort of confusion because going into any jhamela your jhula your swing of happiness becomes slack and you would not be able to swing high all the children have received from bab dada imperishable infinite and unlimited treasure so constantly remain stable and filled with the attainment of those treasures spiritual treasures we have got huge spiritual treasures spiritual wealth the spiritual richness which we enjoy is not found elsewhere in the world so what to do with spiritual wealth which we have what should we do with this wealth spread it and spiritual treasures so we need to do something with this spiritual treasure yeah first of all gather gather the spiritual wealth second is try to imbibe it third is take care of it fourth is whatever treasures you have hmm share it increase it by sharing fifth is hmm security taking care is security you share it with others then help others share and share and help others to imbibe those treasures even you can add somewhere churn those treasures and help others also to churn so we'll see what we should do with these treasures the first thing to be done with these treasures is to gather these treasures the treasures are scattered everywhere in avyakta murlis in books in the experiences of spiritual people so gather collect garn hold amass together keep it with you 
by collecting just as a butterfly just as a bee collects nectar from different flowers in the similar manner a spiritual butterfly or spiritual bee should flit from one flower to another and gather the treasures these treasures you can get from anyone the talk of navanidhi nine treasures in the path of bhakti what are they in gyan they are gyan they are gun they are shakti they are time that is thought then happiness then blessings do i then shreshta karm elevated actions and last purity these are the nine treasures nine celebrated treasures of gyan mark so navanithi so whatever treasures you have first of all collect them knowledge you need to collect happiness purity elevated actions blessings time these are the treasures we cannot afford to lose any one of these treasures for example time those who have wasted a lot of their time in their lives they repent those you have who have utilized their time in churning in making their stiti their stage powerful they remain stable unshakable unflinching in the face of all the adverse situation in the face of all the uncongenial conditions of life so they can remain unflapping those who have not wasted their time of life how much time of our brahmin life we are wasting in the waste in the negative in the unnecessary that's a great question to think about what are we doing with our time with our time those who have utilized their time to the hilt they don't repent they look back and they feel happy that our life's time is spent in such a worthy manner for example in laukik also those students who waste their time in youth they have to repent when they become little elder so similarly we are students our time is for studying for discussion our time is to churn our time is to imbibe our time is to understand this knowledge our time is to go into the depth of this knowledge so first is to imbibe second imbibe this uh, gather this treasures with the gyan with the virtues with the powers with the thought elevated thoughts we need to garner elevated thoughts because one elevated thought is enough to make the stage powerful so for gathering what you have to listen you are also to listen read and listen in yesterday sakar murli baba said even if somebody is moribund about to die what one should do still listen even if somebody is about to die still keep on listening to this amrit this knowledge this nectar in one of the murlis baba had baba had said somebody inform baba baba somebody had fracture baba said bring him on stretcher so none of the your lame excuses will help so gather the knowledge gather the treasure the treasure trove then second is churn this knowledge churn this treasure simply gathering is not enough churn how to utilize time 
Churn what are elevated actions. Churn how to receive blessing from others. Yesterday's Vardhan Baba had said, Give blessings through your eyes, through your forehead. Give blessings through the soul conscious form. So churn this knowledge. Churn this treasure, each and every treasure that we got. Every thought, every virtue, every power. We can take any one power every day and start churning about it. For example, the power of truth. Where does it work? How will it work? How should I bring it in my life? So churn. Then imbibe. For imbibition, imbibe, the word imbibe means to drink. Imbibition means drinking. So, in Hindi we call dharana. So for imbibe, inculcation, you need two things, silence and solitude. Go in silence and imbibe. Go in solitude and try to imbibe. Try to purify the soul by imbibing this knowledge. Purification will not occur without imbibing. In today's Sakar Murli, Baba has remembered Savarkar. He was a freedom fighter. And somebody asked him, Why do you create this Hindu Mahasabha? While the eternal religion is of the deity eternal religion and he said, we cannot call ourselves Devata eternal because we are impure. So purity will not come unless and until there is imbibition of treasures. So imbibe, gather, churn, imbibe. Churning is also a way of imbibition. But for imbibing, one needs silence. The knowledge should gradually percolate should gradually go within the nooks and crevices of the grey matter and mind so for that you need silence and solitude the greater the silence and greater the solitude the greater would be imbibition the greater the noise the greater the voice the greater the sound and greater the crowd one will be lost so third is imbibe the knowledge. Then fourth is take care of this knowledge. Why? Who is there to steal it? Maya is sitting there to steal. So the robbers are there in ambush waiting to steal. So take care. How do you take care of the knowledge? Of the stretches? Arvind Bhai? You apply double lock. You apply double lock and then you take care. So there should be spiritual security system. Spiritual security, tight security. We need to give Z Z security. The highest level of there are four levels of security. Z security is the highest level of security. So, okay, Z plus. Z plus is the highest level of security. <laughs> so we need to give to this treasure Z le plus level of security. No one should come and steal away our time. No one should come and destroy our purity. No one should come and destroy our elevated karmas. No one should throw a cast or pelt a stone in the limpid, calm lake of our mind and raise thoughts and change vrittis and cause fluctuations and modifications and disturbance and upheavals of vritti. So, 
all the treasures needs to be guarded with z plus security double lock triple lock or whatever so take care of the treasures robbers thieves many are there fourth is to take care then start sharing by sharing the treasures increase in the worldly life if you give to somebody your treasures decrease here when you give some to somebody your treasures increase he also becomes full and you also your treasures increase your fulfillment increase your treasures multiply so try to share with others so how do we share the treasures with others spiritual treasures because there is spiritual poverty in the world the world is suffering from a grave disease of spiritual poverty there is in one of the murlis baba had come and said that was a murli of 80s they raised the andolan agitation of garibi hatao remove the poverty here baba has also started a new andolan garibi hatao but which garibi which poverty which poverty which penury this is the penury of spirituality person has become pauper a beggar spiritual beggary so remove the spiritual beggary in the world by sharing by distribution equal distribution of wealth this is the philosophy of communism karl marx if suppose in china laozi is one of the philosophers so he was very intelligent and the emperor of the Ch- china thought he should be given some respectable position in the court so he called that laozi and uh, he made him judge in the court one court so one case came in front of laozi where one thief was caught stealing something from a landlord so laozi said thought about it and he sentenced that thief to 3 months imprisonment and that landlord to 6 months imprisonment so people were shocked how come a thief who has stolen is given sentence but the person from whom he had stolen he was also given imprisonment so this news reached the king and king said why you did this he said king is at fault the thief is at fault because he stole but the landlord is also at fault the rich man is also because he collected that much wealth and that's why the thief stole so both are at fault and king was shocked because he said he thought one day I, because i am also sort of thief so one day he will also put me into behind the bars so he just uh, asked him to go away from that post he was removed from that post so sharing of spiritual knowledge how do we share speech by mind by actions by actions you give virtues gun gunadan by mind you give powers shakti dan shakti path mind speech you give knowledge by imparting knowledge the organ of speech is purified when we speak knowledge vani becomes shuddh when we give knowledge eyes become pure when we give spiritual drishti chakshu sadhana this is known as chakshu sadhana eyes sadhana this eyes should get purified and the speech should get purified and the mind should get purified by giving knowledge 
so impart knowledge through the speech by mind powers and by your actions by your behavior by your demeanor by your etiquettes give virtues so share this knowledge then what to do with spiritual khazana treasure help others to imbibe even if you give they may not imbibe because they are powerless help others to imbibe help others to retain help others to remember and last thing which you can put somewhere here rather fifth before sharing this is fifth this is sixth and this is seventh sixth is translate this knowledge use this knowledge use the knowledge use the treasures put it into practice send everybody accounts hmm send everybody accounts that is in sharing okay just before sharing you can put this use khazana the treasure the treasure trove whatever treasures we have those treasures we should use in practice otherwise they are just locked up and they are just kept at one place and we are not using it then what is the point we are talking about knowledge but we are not showing it anywhere in the actions we are talking about purity but that purity is not reflected that purity is not echoed reverberated in our daily lives so that echo that reflection that reverberation that result that ramification of the purity should be there so these are the seven things which we need to do with the treasures gather the treasure jama second churn the treasure chintan third dharan imbibe the treasures fourth take care because robbers thieves decoits they are there galor then use use it immediately the moment you get knowledge point of knowledge try to use it where i should use throughout the day find out places find out ways find out means of using of putting that knowledge into practice our knowledge theory should translate into practice theory should not remain just a theory but theory to should become practical this gap theory and practical there is a gap bridge this gap build a pool build a bridge or reduce this gap so that the theory becomes practical because a river is there below and lot of crocodile and other things are here dangerous animals in the river so you need to build a bridge or <laughs> you bring this together so use this knowledge then start sharing this knowledge with others and last help others to imbibe sharing alone is not enough empower them with this knowledge so today's blessing by by saying may you be filled with infinite treasures these treasures have got three qualities they are infinite behad treasures and by experiencing stable and constant happiness ekras khushi claim number 1 if you want to claim number 1 in order to claim number 1 continue to experience stable and constant happiness do not get caught up in any of the jhamela what is jhamela they have not translated in english because there is, i don't think there is any word in english for jamela it is written confusion in bracket but confusion is very small it's uljan jamela is something big <laughs> so don't get caught up in any jamela so the thing to churn is am i there in any one of the jamelas yeah <laughs> by gave by cobweb is jal cobweb is trap cobweb is complicated mesh mm mm-hmm. by going into any jhamela you are jhula your swing of happiness becomes dhila slack and you would not be able to swing high therefore constantly continue to swing in the swing of constant and stable happiness all the children receive from bab dada 
imperishable so there are three qualities of this treasure they are imperishable avinashi none can destroy this treasure none can destroy this treasure whatever knowledge one has got knowledge is imperishable avinashi eternal no one can come and ever destroy so knowledge is imperishable treasure is imperishable one infinite anant unlimited behad these are three things so constantly remain stable and filled with the attainment of those treasures the speciality of the confluence age is experience one more thing you can add eighth no eighth no somewhere here after use experience this treasure huh after imbibe okay put it here wherever you want but make it eight now experience of the treasure anubhav experience this treasure of purity now the speciality of the confluence age is experience and so to take benefit of the speciality of this age so churn on this today okay first gather the treasure churn the treasure imbibe the treasure experience the treasure take care of this treasure put z plus security use the treasure share the treasure help others to imbibe to empower to gain to become powerful with this spiritual treasure om shanti